Okay, welcome to my tutorial on how to export your iTunes playlists into your Hibby or Hybe Music app on your Android phone. This is a little bit technical, so if you're squeamish, you might want to stop this video now and move on. You're going to need three pieces of software in order to get this to work. You will need Samsung Dex. That's an app you can download from Samsung. You'll need FUBAR 2000. Both of these are free. And then lastly, you will need iTunes. Let's go ahead and open up iTunes and I'll show you how this is done. Bear with me. There's likely to be a couple of mistakes along the way, but I will correct them as we move forward. This is by far the easiest method I have found. So when you open your iTunes, and I'm using 10.6, I don't like any of the later versions, too much bloatware for my personal liking, you can either pick any of your smart playlists or any of your manual playlists, stuff that you've dragged and dropped in the playlist here on the left by hand. So I'm going to choose a manual playlist, or I'm sorry, a smart playlist. Let's go ahead and pick this one just simply called Harmonies. At this point, you're going to have to export this file as an M3U file. So we're going to do that right now. We are going to go and export this file using the library setting. We're going to go export, excuse me, export playlist. And I'm going to save this into a new folder I just created today. Uh, actually, I could just save it here, but you can save it anywhere you like. Um, and I've already saved it previously, so I'm just going to just continue to use the same name again. Pick whatever name you're going to remember. Make sure it matches the playlist that you're exporting here from iTunes on the left. And just go ahead and save that playlist as an m.3u file, okay? And again, note where you're saving this file. That's really important or you're not going to be able to find it. So go ahead and give it a name and click Save. In my case, I'm saving it to my D drive and iTunes exports. So let's click save. Yes, we'll go ahead and replace it. That's fine. I know it's already there. I'm going to now navigate into my D drive, which is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the iTunes exports. And the harmonies playlist is right here. So I'm done with iTunes for right now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and open up FooBar. Now at this point, I'm just going to go back to that playlist and I'm going to drag and drop it into FooBar. If you already have FooBar loaded, great. This is going to make your life a lot easier. You're somewhat comfortable with the program. Okay, so the playlist has been added. It's right here. I could just give it a name if I wanted to keep it all the same it's fine really won't be needing this much more after I put it into the phone so I'll keep everything succinct and the same okay so here's the playlist I just dragged into foobar it's called harmonies at this point now that all the songs are loaded I'm gonna go ahead and go file and I'm gonna go save the playlist now this is really important you want to make sure you save this playlist where your master iTunes folder is. In many cases, it's usually the music folder, subfolder of iTunes, subfolder in iTunes Media, and then music. Now, I've got about 20,000 songs in here, so you'll see how this is a potential detriment to you if you've got a lot of songs. So let's go ahead and save this playlist into my C drive on the computer. I'm going to keep the name the same. I'm just going to call it Harmonies. Okay, so again, I'm saving it in my iTunes media folder, subfolder music, where all my songs are. I'm calling it Harmonies, and it's going to have an M3U extension. I'm going to click Save. Okay, so that's done. I'm pretty much finished with this. Now, the next, next objective is to move that file over to your Android phone. Now, you want to make sure that your phone is plugged in to the USB port on your computer. If it's not, please do so now. Make sure you put your pin in and go ahead and log in. Okay, I'm going to go to Windows Explorer. I'm going to now navigate to my music folder. I'm going to navigate to iTunes. I'm going to navigate to the, whoops, sorry. Navigate to the media folder and then in music where I stored that playlist. So if I scroll all the way to the bottom, I'm going to see the Harmonies playlist I just saved in this folder. 
It's very important you save it here. And the reason why is because if you don't, the path to the music files on your phone will not match what's on your computer. If you don't save it here in your iTunes media music folder, this is not going to work. I cannot emphasize that enough. All right. So we're at this point. Now the objective is to get this harmonies playlist onto my phone. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click and call and go copy. I'm going to then locate my phone in Windows Explorer. I'm going to go to the phone right here. Actually, my songs are on my external card. They're not on the internal phone memory. So depending upon where your songs are located, make sure you choose the right one. Since mine are on the card, they're in the music folder, they're in iTunes, and they're in media. As you can tell, I kept it the same. Now keep in mind, I've got about 20,000 songs in here, so this might be a little bit slow. And while this is ramping up, and actually it just did, I'm going to go ahead and right click in this dark area. Yours might be white, could be dark, depending upon your color scheme on your computer. Just right click and go paste. It's a very small file. Once it's pasted in on your phone, you should see it at the very bottom right here. Okay, now we're in the last step, and that's to open up the Samsung DeX software on your computer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And now that I have that open, I'm going to go ahead and open up the Hibi or Hybe music player, however you prefer. This is the app itself. I'm going to go to the playlist section, which is the third icon here. And I'm going to click playlist. Now here's the part that's really a pain in the neck and I wish Hibby would have done a better job. When I click import playlist, it should really filter out just the playlist files. In this case, it doesn't. Watch this. So I click this. Note the misspelling. This should say click here to select the file. They need to fix that. But you're going to click that anyway. And now you're going to locate through the navigation menu here where your music folders are and the playlist you just saved. So in my case, it's not in the heavy music folder. It might be in your case. I'm going to go ahead and click music. Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, let's see. Where did I put this? Oh, yeah. It is in music. Sorry. And then I'm going to go ahead and click iTunes. I kept my folders the same on the PC and on the phone. So when I click in here, I'm going to click in media. If you recall just a few minutes ago, I was showing you I was in the media folder on my computer. And once I click this, <clears throat> it's going to take a minute or two. Again, as I mentioned, there are a lot of songs in here. If you don't have many, it should be fairly quick. All right, here's the tough part. The tough part is getting to the playlist and that's at the very, very bottom of all these folders. So I prefer to do it this way. I'm just, just using the scroll wheel on my mouse. And you'll have to be patient. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff in here. But once I get to the bottom, you will see the playlist and how this whole thing works. Now, in many cases, if when you import the playlist, it shows zero songs, that means the playlist isn't any good. You may as well delete it out of the Hibby music player and start over again. Likely the reason for that is because the path of the playlist is not matching where your songs are located on your phone. Okay, so we'll be there in just a moment here, getting to the E's and the F's. So I hope the uh, Hibby music team is, Hibby music app team is watching this. They could see how they can make life easier for thousands of people. They would just have a filter in place that allows us to just see the playlists. We don't need to see all these folders. It's a complete waste of time. If you have a lot of playlists like I do, this is going to take several hours. But this methodology is by far the fastest I have found. Nobody wants to start dragging and dropping manually into a new playlist on their Android phone. Okay, so we're going on roughly about 30 to 45 seconds here. Again, if you don't have 20,000 songs like I do, it's going to be a lot quicker. Almost there. Still scrolling on the mouse wheel. You could do this on your phone if you want to. It's just far more time consuming and cumbersome. 
So that's why I'm using the Samsung DeX software. For myself, it's just a lot easier. You can see there's no scroll bar on the side either, as in Windows Explorer. If there was a scroll bar there, that would be a lot faster. I could just drag it to the bottom. Okay, we're in the letter W here. And now the playlist should come up. There it is. <clears throat> so after all of this, we're going to click the harmonies. Now, at this point, don't click cancel. Don't click anything but the word OK, or you'll have to repeat that whole scrolling process again. Once I click OK, the Harmonies playlist shows up, and voila, all 150 songs are in the playlist. That's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. I know it's a bit of a pain, but it is a shortcut. It took a couple of minutes to get one playlist in versus several hours. Thank you very much, and have a good day.